Pokemon Leader Tricks, this is Lucky Nose and Zero. Welcome to the Pokemon Showdown Random Battle. Now, I start with Survivor against the Mewtwo, and Fola Maggie Wells the Mewtwo and the Mewtwo Y, and I switch into Victini, so he takes out the Mewtwo, and I end up taking out my Victini, so I don't have to face the Spiritomb. So I go into Skarmory, which is a physical wall, and just start setting up spikes. So I figure that Spiritomb isn't going to do too much on my Skarmory, so I can just set up spikes so I can get three layers up. And that'll do some damage when he switches out. So he keeps going for that pursuit, hoping I can switch. So eventually I just go for a whirlwind to get him out. Goes for an aura sphere, and yeah, I just go for a brave bird. It's gonna take out my Squirrel Murray, but it'll manage to get down some more damage from his Mewtwo enough so I can go for a sucker punch with my Seviper and take down his Mewtwo pretty easily. So he goes into his spirit tomb, go for a poison jab, and get the hacks, which is nice. So he just goes for a Dark Bolt, it's going to do a lot of damage, and I'm thinking mm, Survivor isn't going to be able to take down that Spiritomb, and he goes for a Shadow Sneak, and I actually survive! So, Poison Damage takes him down, but his Rotom Mo will go for a Volt Switch and take down my Survivor, so he goes into his Celebi. So I just go into my Salamence, and that Celebi handles Salamence pretty well. Since it lands the hidden power, I'm guessing ice, and that does a lot of damage, and Salamence misses the fire blast. Go into artillery, and yeah, that Celebi is going to just get that Giga Drain down, which is going to be a problem. Goes for, I, I mean, I'm able to land an ice beam down, but it's not going to be nearly enough. Second another Giga Drain, I switch into Victini, and he goes for the Giga Drain, doesn't do too much damage, so he eventually switches out into his Zeppelin. Which is going to be kind of an issue because I go for the blue flare isn't going to do very much because it's a part dragon type. So I switch into Cradley. So I figure, yeah, that'll take a fusion bolt pretty well. <laughs> so let's give and take. He switches out and goes into Rotomo, predicting the earthquake. And with the levitate ability, it won't attack. So he tricks me into choicing in a rock slide, <laughs> which is kind of. I don't know. So, I end up taking a Volt Switch on my Octillery, and he switches out. So, at least I do have Switch Initiative. So, I go into Kratilly, and he switches back into Celebi to take the Earthquake. At that point, not much I can really do with Kratilly, so I just switch out, and just go into Salamence, expecting a Giga Drain. Because, I mean, there's no reason to go for an HP Ice in that. Actually, I guess I could have gone for an HP Ice. I don't know. But eventually Celebi is able to take down Salamence. So I go into Victini, and yeah, the HP Ice doesn't do too much, so I'm just go for expecting the switch. I actually have for Psychic. I overpredicted he stayed in, and yeah. So I just go for a Blue Fair next turn, and that takes out the Celebi. I was expecting him to switch into the Zekrom, which he didn't have doing anyway. So at that point I'm able to just go for a Psychic and take down the Zekrom. Victini is pretty good. <laughs> I mean, that Rotom had no chance against a Blue Flare Victini at all. So, came down to his Exploud, had a lot of damage taken from the spikes, but on the other hand, Exploud is a pretty is a pretty good Pokemon. I'm able to get down the V-Create, just take it all. I just wanted to go all out and get rid of that thing, and that was the game. So, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.